me, Sandy. I'm sorry, I look like a hot mess. Oh, trying to get this room done. I don't have my mic on or anything because I can't find it right now. <laughs> it's a mess in here. But I just wanted to throw this video out there because uh, it's been a couple of days and, you know, <laughs> um, I, I was tagged a few days ago, so I, I need to get this out there. Uh, I was tagged by Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts. Did I say that right? Hootie Hooten and? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Um, she tagged me in the hashtag 10 Yarny Questions that was started by Miss Crystal at Bago Day. And oh, I'm looking down at my computer. <clears throat> so I've got um, all my questions down here. And let's see if I can answer them. Okay. So question number one is, what is your favorite color? I think everybody probably already knows that. Let's see if I've got, got it here. So it's way up there. Let's see. My favorite color of yarn is aubergine uh or um dark deep reds <clears throat> let's see i've got another one here yeah dark deep reds yes that and teal <laughs> uh what is your favorite weight yarn my favorite weight of yarn although uh, i was gonna say five weight but you know what? I have a lot of four weight. Like I do. I've got a lot of four weight. I even have stuff that says it's four weight, but it's really a three, thick three, uh, like the Mandela ombre. Um, <clears throat> but it, I can use two, two together to make it thicker, but, um, definitely four and up. I can't use four and under. Ugh. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. What is the what is your favorite style of yarn? Style of yarn would have to be. I'm going to say roving. Um, I love roving yarn or like fluffy yarn, like Huga yarn. Um, I don't mind that it goes thicker and thinner and thicker and thinner. That doesn't bother me <clears throat> at all. I even like hell spun, <laughs> homespun. I, I love that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite fiber of yarn? Well, I don't really have a choice in this, but it's acrylic. I am allergic to wool. And if I wanted to get a mixed cotton, it's usually mixed with something I can't use, right? Um, you can get cotton that is, has acrylic in it, <clears throat> like, uh, <laughs> oh, I've got them here somewhere. <laughs> um, co no, not coastal cotton. Um, I have some of that too. Anyways, as long as it's mixed with, um, something that's not wool, then I can use it. But cotton is not my favorite yarn anyway. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> what is your favorite brand that you can easily get easily within your country? Okay. Oh. If I'm going to Walmart, or no, sorry, if I'm going to Michael's, then it's Crafts, Craftsmart? Yeah, Craftsmart Value. I really like this yarn. I really, really like it. It's, I mean, the old one was a lot more like Super Saver, I think. But now that they've come out with this one, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um... And then if I'm going to um, Walmart, 
then it's oh, oh, oh come on premier nope it's it's premier basic nope premium hang on it's here somewhere nope that's premier basic oh it's here somewhere here it is Bernat premium that is my favorite at Walmart. Okay. Uh, put that back. All right. Um, what is your favorite brand that isn't easily, it can't easily get in within your country? <laughs> Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Anything Hobby Lobby. <laughs> For sure. Um, I love the, I love this yarn, uh, especially the, I love this yarn print. Um, I like some of the yarn be yarn as well, but for the most part, it, it's, I love this yarn. Uh, if it's not Hobby Lobby yarn, then it's definitely, um, Oh, actually, the next question asks that. Favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar store. Okay. Favorite brick and mortar store. <sighs> if I had a Hobby Lobby here, it would definitely be that. But we don't have that here in Canada. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a favorite brick and mortar store here because we only have Michaels and Walmart. And Michael's is starting to suck. Uh, I'm really not happy with the way they are. I was really hoping that when they got bought out that it would change things a little bit. It's still too early to tell. Jury's out on that. <clears throat> and Walmart never has their yarns up to date. They never have... Um, it's just terrible. You go there and the the um, shelves are just bare and it's just awful <laughs> so favorite online store hands down uh it is premier and um Hirschner's. hands down if i could have if if hobby lobby sent stuff to canada that would be my my number one <laughs> but they don't so, uh, do you keep scrap yarn? If so, what do you do with it? This whole cabinet that I have, plus a box down here, is full of little yarn balls and stuff. I hate working with scraps of yarn. Hate it. Give me a nice fresh ball of yarn or a skein or a cake and I am happy. The minute I've used it and it's halfway finished or three quarters of the way finished, it goes in a bag or a box and is forgotten. I know that's really bad, but yeah, I've got a ton of stuff and I was actually thinking about um, giving away a bunch of it because yeah, there's a lot of it. <laughs> So that's why I always try really hard to use up a whole skein or cake because I really don't want to waste yarn, right? Although some yarn is a really good fire starter. If you have a fireplace and you've got little scraps of yarn in a garbage bag during the winter, Put that in your fireplace man that stuff burns like crazy it's the greatest fire starter ever just saying <laughs> uh what is your favorite thing to crochet at the moment i'm really really loving the daphne afghan um but then I, I love granny stitch. The granny stitch is my go-to. I love the granny stitch. A lot of people hate it. Uh, maybe it's because it doesn't challenge you enough. I'm good with that. <laughs> because there are some 
patterns and stuff that are just like, whoo, no, -uh, not me. You know, so um, I love making cardigans and uh, I like making blankets if they're more of a, a lap gown, right? Um, and the Daphne Afghan is perfect for that. So, yeah. Uh, if you could crochet one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? Wow. Um. <laughs> wow. One thing. That's an unfair question. Uh, one thing. Does it have to be one thing? <laughs> um, I guess it would have to be uh, a triangle shawl. Triangle shawl. Yeah. And what yarn would I use? Oh, man. <sighs> I'm looking at all my yarns. Latte Cakes is my love. I, I love latte cakes um latte cakes or cookie yarn hmm 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 <laughs> i'm gonna leave that one because you know i i'm i would say latte cakes i guess but you can never get latte cake anymore yeah <laughs> so yeah so that's that's it and that's it that's 10 questions <laughs> so there you go miss hootie hooten then all done. So I have to tag someone and I can't tag Sandy from left to right crochet because she's already been tagged. I think Petra has already done it. I don't know if Lisa from Lisa crochet has done hers and, uh, Rosalie from yarn it out. I don't think she's, has she done hers? I don't think she has done hers. <laughs> um, and who else, who else should I tag? Good question. I don't think Laura from Mad Mimi has done one yet. So I'm going to tag her too. Hopefully one, at least one of you is going to get the tag. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for joining me. I love you all. I will let you know when this room gets finished and I can get back to filming properly. <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.